Hey guys, um, I'm going to make up some sun tea uh, for tonight's dinner. <clears throat> Real easy to do. I've got a clear glass jar. We're going to fill that up with uh, some cold water. Yeah, I love this tea. Uh, I think it tastes way better than if you would boil water and, and then put your tea bags in. It just has a lot smoother taste to it. Okay, so we got our water going. And then I've got a, I guess it would be more like a family size tea bag of Lipton's. I'll just put this in here, just like that. And then I put the string all the way to the edge. Because this bag sometimes seems to want to sink down with the sun. Okay, let me straighten up the camera here. And uh, we'll walk outside real quick. Sorry I'm moving around too much, but that's like... So what I usually do, even though the sun was out, it must be up behind a tree, but it doesn't matter um, as much as you need your heat as well. Um, but I usually just set it here on the grill um, and let it just sit for about four or five hours maybe. And I'll do, oops, sorry. I'll um, I'll show you a picture here in our, a video here in a little bit how much it changes color. Within an hour, it'll be totally different. And that's how I make my sun tea. Um, and like I say, it tastes a whole lot better than um, than when you boil your boil your water. It has a smoother taste to me. Uh, so try it out if you if you want. You could probably use a half gallon mason jar, you know, something like that if you got that. So, all right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. <clears throat> hey guys, I wanted to do this quick video on uh, this sun tea. It's perfect. Um, this has been about two hours or so. Uh, I was going to do one sooner, but we're washing clothes and drinking beer, so <laughs> I had to get back when I could get back for you. But uh, yeah, sun tea. This is the way to go if you, you ask me. Um, so, like I say, two hours or so. It's it's almost ready to just go ahead and pull in the house. It's dark enough, dark enough for my liking. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll set it on the table for a while and cool down this jar a little bit because it's pretty hot to the touch. Um, and then I'll put it in the refrigerator. So. Hey guys, back here today. Um, we're going to do some walleye. We did do uh, catfish for National Catfish Day. We got three. You'll see a picture of that uh, either at the beginning of the film or the end. And I got a walleye. I took a picture of that. Uh, the catfish, po' boys turned out really good. Uh, we had company and we had lots of drinks, so I wasn't going to um, film that one. You didn't need to see all that. So. I probably shouldn't have been around Greece either, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, no burns, man. So uh, everybody enjoyed themselves. Uh, tonight or this afternoon, before Jesse got to go to work, is uh, I'm gonna do that walleye. In, in in my opinion, walleye is caviar of fresh water to me. Uh, sorry, I'm messing with the stove. So it's a real white fish, real flaky white fish. It's awesome. So we're gonna make up a couple po' boys. So I mean, beginning L, and I'm also gonna do uh, some green tomatoes, fried green tomatoes here. Um, these have gotten, I guess, what you would call a root rot, where the bottom of this tomato it's gotten rotten. So we're gonna trim that off. I, I just didn't want to just throw these romas away, just. Because so since I'm frying fish, we'll have little bite-sized you know pieces for what the heck you know. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I got my cast iron skillet over here. It's not all shined up actually. I just got done cleaning it um, from breakfast this morning, so it's a little dirty looking. But even though I cleaned it, it looks I didn't re-season it. But we're about to re-season the hell out of it. A bunch of oil. There we go. So 
so that's, I don't know, good that much oil at least in there. And we're going to let that get up to temp and batter these uh, little Romas. And we'll see you back here in a little bit. Alright, well, well, I figure this oil's getting hot. Let's go ahead and just make up a batter for them um, green tomatoes. I'm just going to throw in some flour in here like so. I don't think we're going to need a whole lot. And then uh, use your favorite season, of course. I got uh, Slappy Mama. Season it up. A little stir. I've already rinsed these tomatoes. So you see me all right just little pieces this would be good with beer and that's all we're going to do is just slice them up and batter them and we're going to throw them in the fryer alright our oil is definitely hot enough I wasn't paying attention, I'm giving all. Um, yeah, it's hot. I'm going to turn this fan on, guys. I'm sorry. Hope you all can hear me. I turn it on low, so. I got pulled some. They're, well, they're small, so they're going to fry quick. Let's pull that guy. Come on now. Pull you today. Come on now. Out the bag or out the grease. You. Come on. Them couple. They look pretty good, huh? Yeah. Like I said, something to snack on while I'm going to cook the rest of this stuff. And I'll take and strain this grease and get this flour out of here. You don't need that in there. <clears throat> When, you know, when I go to pop this fish. But I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a minute. Cool, that's it. So let them cook. I'm going to strain this grease up. And uh, then we'll start on the fish. Alright guys, um, well the green t fried tomatoes were hit, Jesse's pretty much destroyed those, but I got this Louisiana fish product, or uh, yeah, fish product, fish fry, this is the lemon, we're going to put it on this um, walleye here, I need to drain a little bit more of the water that was on these fillets though. Okay. I do want to talk to you about it's a couple small pieces here and that's what we call the, the scallops now the scallops are right in the cheek of these walleye you can take your knife and cut in around this bone and then uh, skin off the outside uh, I don't know skin and you can get that it's really really good so I know that I'm going to be working on them so, uh, yeah, we're just going to batter these scallops and the fillets. I kind of cut them in a little bit smaller chunks for these 
tow boys. Get a nice dusting on here. Make a mess while I'm at it. What the hell? Okay, so they're battered. It might well it might be. I, I cleaned it out real good. Pretty much fresh oil, huh? So, uh, all right, I'm gonna grab one of these scallops first. See if his oil's any hot. Yep, oil's hot. Drop it in. Smells really good. I'll tell you that. There's another scallop. I think I'd get one more chunk in here. Yeah. There we go. And I'll just do this a couple minutes on each side, and they'll be done. Meanwhile, I'm grabbing a beer. Alright, well, I got one play out. It was pretty much falling apart, so we know that one was done. We take out these scallops. I can't wait to eat one of them. Throw this Big Daddy filet in here. Like that there. I guess this one's about ready. Yeah. It's doing good. Flaking apart. Throw this in. And man, we're going to eat, boy! Yeah, I can't wait till that cools down. Then, uh, hold on now. I'll even double up one here. There, I turn off the fan. Um, hopefully you can see me with the dark room. Um, we made some ramelade sauce. You put those uh, that on it's um like a mayonnaise based sauce. Uh, you put it on your po' boys, which. There's so many things, ways I've seen it done. I've seen it with capers in it. Uh, I don't have capers. What I did, it was a real quick one. A uh, couple tablespoons of mayonnaise, um, a tablespoon or so, a tablespoon and a half of uh, cocktail sauce with the horseradish in it. It's a spicier cocktail sauce. It's made by Phillips. Uh, I put some mustard in it. Probably a teaspoon, two teaspoons. Uh, some Worcestershire, Shire, Shire, Shire sauce. <laughs> um, I put some of that in there, maybe a teaspoon or so. Uh, put in some of that Slap Your Mama, probably a teaspoon or so. And garlic powder, teaspoon. Something like that. There's you could put hot sauce in there with it, um, Dijon mustard or a horseradish based mustard or just mustard and horseradish. There's so many freaking ways. I've made it before, legit, pretty legit other than the caper part on one of my videos. Cannot remember which one right off the bat without looking around. But if you're interested, look around, you probably find it. It was, it was probably on a uh, Po' Boy video if you're interested. And yeah, so we're gonna fry the rest of these fish, watch the storm come in, and then Jesse's off to work. So I guess it's uh, beer drinking night and movie night for me. So we'll be back here shortly. All right, guys, we're gonna make up uh, this po' boy. I got some really nice French hoagie rolls. So I guess our foundation here is this. Uh, Rumelade sauce. It's got a nice little pink reddish um, tint to it. And I've let this sit in the refrigerator for several hours so all the flavors will kind of get married.
and I'm going to put it on both sides of this bread. Like that there. Now, for our fish, put our fish right there. Mmm, that remoulade tastes good. Now I got some lettuce here. Not much, but I got some lettuce. Let's see here. It's that mix shit. Good at work though. Don't make fun of my lettuce. There we go. Piece of cabbage. All you got. Alright. Some tomato. And bam. Walleye po' boy my way. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Get the camera up here to my face. Get me a little taller. Now we'll try out uh, one of these scallops. Yep. It was worth sitting in the hot sun all day. Jesse's already got the po' boy watching. Okay. She's running. <laughs> Woman on the loose. Yeah, you got yeah. my po' boy, man. Thank you. You're welcome. So, she's already got it, man. No pictures. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, it's alright. I'm, I'm just talking. So, uh, sorry we didn't do a catfish thing. Like I said, had too much fun that night. Couldn't do a video. So, uh, walleye it is. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.